Hi, I'm John DeMolke, uh, Sales Director here at Local Motors, and this is Dave Ria, one of our lead engineers, and he's going to be talking about some of the materials we're planning on using for the Rally Fighter. All right, so with the Rally Fighter, we um, had uh, several different constraints and parameters in the design. Um, one, this is an off-road vehicle, or has the off-road capabilities, as well as being able to drive on the street. Um, we want to save weight, we want a material that's um, going to last a long time, and uh, could be recycled in, in ways. Um, the um, so there are, there are certainly rock chips in, in the off road and things that you're going to you know run into. Um, sometimes there's a little, there's a little bit of bumping. Um, and so different areas of the car have different requirements. Um, there are also some unusual shapes to the car and, and inspiration from the P51 uh, Mustang that some of the, some of those aspects of the body you know, has to it. And um, so having like a sort of a separated nose cone, um, sort of a swooping area around the back, sort of having mimic, mimic areas of that, they kind of were in tune visually as well with, with the material requirements coincidentally. So um, this, is, this material right here is some of the most uh, impressive uh, material that we're going to use, we're really excited about. Um, this comes from a company called Fiberforge. Um, this is basically a thermoset it's a nylon impregnated carbon fiber that gets sandwiched together and pressed into a, a two-piece mold to form this extremely hard uh, material. So that's much stronger than steel then, correct? Yes, that is correct. It's, it's much stronger than steel and lighter. Um, you can use uh, fairly thin laminates and get extreme strength. Um, we're going to make the, the nose cone and the rear, rear fender areas out of this material. Um, another area we're going to use this, which is even you know, more critical, are important to the vehicle. It's not an aesthetic, aesthetic part to the exterior of the body. However, um, we're going to use it as a structural component. Um, since this vehicle needs to jump, there are, there are not allowed to have structural bars going through the door because this is a practical vehicle. You can drive the other, so you need to be able to get in. Um, have these kind of materials like thermoplastic been around? Why aren't the bigger auto companies using these? They've been, been around. It hasn't been something that they could do at high volume. Um, it's been more low volume based on the tooling. However, this company, Fiberforge, has really um, made some ways to get this to be a fully automated system, and they can do it um, at very well for, for um, you know, medium to near high volume. Um, and they can also do it in a way that doesn't use waste material. They can use, they can put down the exact amount that they, pretty much close to the exact amount that they spent. Um, so we're going to use that material on the, you know, the nose and rear sections. The other parts of the body, the hood and roof sections and doors, we're going to make out of a, a, a hand-laid fiberglass laminate. Um, uh, that material is being wrapped. It doesn't have, um, have a, a significant impact uh, from debris or you know, uh, trouble. Um, it, uh, but lightweight is something we do want, and we do want this car to last for a long, long time. Um, and there you're not going to have corrosion with these materials. You also have the fiberglass, which is like a cloth, like a uh, your, maybe your bed sheets you can think of as cloth and, and uh, uh, resin, like maple syrup, and you basically mix that together in a matrix, and you, it solidifies after over time in a mold. And um, that material um, is you can again, just like the fiberforge, you can vary the thicknesses based on your application, and um, we'll be able to do the entire body out of that. Um, it is something that can be. Both of those can be chopped up and recycled as filler material and other products uh, that we hope to produce in the future. Um, that's really cool. So that's kind of a quick quick run, rundown of it. Uh, I have a fiberglass sample here. This is a thicker piece. Um, we would probably do it much thinner. It has a um, nice cloth texture on the inside, and the outside is a is a gel coated finish. Um, this this these will hold, hold dimensional stability for the car over the long haul. You're not going to get warping and and uh, you know, it changes to the shape. This stuff is uh, extremely tough and you know, been around for a long time. And the technology, you know, it's, these thermosets and thermoplastics have gone a long way in the, you know, the last, uh, particularly certainly the last five, ten years. But um, it's some impressive stuff. We need that kind of rigidity for the rally fighter with the kind of performance uh, application. It's yeah, I guess, I guess I didn't. Yeah. I didn't finish what I was saying there. Is that the the, the flooring structure? Since we have a, we can't put some tubes in certain places. We're going to actually bond. This fiber forged material to the to the chassis in the flooring areas, and we've created a lot of different sections to it that have created um, a sort of box structure that create a lot more rigidity to this chassis that 
you would normally lose trying to make a more practical vehicle. Um, so that's something we're really excited about. It's going to be neat and, and uh, something you don't really see, see uh, very often. It's really a new new form, a uh, way that Fiberforge has never used this material as far as uh, we know so far. And uh, so we're really excited about it. That's great. Thanks.